What's up guys? So today we're going to talk about the importance of being able to internally rotate into both of our legs, right? So during our load, the internally rotation is going to allow us to maintain that coil through a positive move. And then with our front leg, we need to learn how to be able to internally rotate so we can rotate behind the baseball. So as soon as our heel lands, we want no more directional movement with our hips. This is going to cause a lot of compensations to happen that are going to be weaker compensations. So if we can land and be able to internally rotate and rotate through the center of our body, through the baseball, we're going to give ourselves a chance to be athletic, be adjustable, and be able to rotate through the baseball with some bat speed. So one of the, our favorite movements to imitate what Pablo was talking about in the cage of getting into the internal rotation on the backside, rotating, and then finishing in the internal rotation on the lead leg, and really focusing on the hip rotation is a push pull. We're going to start over here on the Kaiser machine and show how, how we like to do it in the facility, and then we'll show you uh, a way at the end with bands where you should be able to do it pretty much anywhere. So same principles we would use with hitting or pitching, uh, we, we love it for both, or golf, um, is being able to load up into that right leg. So my hips should really rotate back this way and then rotate through this way with little to zero sway whatsoever. So if, if I'm moving this way at all, you're doing it wrong. You want to take your right butt cheek back, fire the hips and rotate them, and then finish with the left butt cheek back when we do this. So in this position here, be in a good athletic stance, similar to your hitting stance or your golf stance, I'm going to load, preload into that hip nice and slow, and then from there I'm gonna push out of my right hip, fire my upper body after my lower body, and finish rotated into my left hip. So if you, if I turn a little bit this way so you can see a little bit better, I'm be here, I'm loaded up to my right, rotate the hips, and finish, again, just like you would with the swing. We would like a bit of sequencing here where the hips go slightly before the upper body as well. Don't worry about that until you have uh, the rest of the movement down really well. So um, again, we want to be this as dynamic as possible with this because we want something that does transfer over. If we just do slow motion movements, they're not going to trans over, translate over very well into a very dynamic setting. So start slow, make sure you have the feel down, but eventually we want to get to a position where we load up here, push, explode, and fire. So we're going full speed here, load, fire. And for me, it's easy, actually easier to separate at that point because that's what I'm used to doing. Um, if you do not have a Kaiser machine, we have a very simple setup for you over here with the bands. Doesn't have to be a rack, you can tie them anywhere. It's the exact same idea though, where we're gonna be loaded up, do my opposite side now, load up into my left here, fire my left, finish on my right in full internal rotation. And again, the internal rotation happens because of the hip rotation. That's what we're trying to drive here. It's exactly what Pablo was talking about. So load up here, fire, finish in that hip. 